A major earthquake of magnitude 7.9 hitting Japan. The meteorological, issue, meteorological agency issued a tsunami warning that could be as high as six meters along Japan's Pacific coast. People near the coast should evacuate immediately to higher ground. In Miyagi Prefecture, northeastern Japan, an intensity of 7 maximum was reporting on the Japanese seismic school. A powerful earthquake with a magnitude of 7.9 struck northern Japan. Uh, that is just before 3 or around quarter to 3 p.m. local time. Its intensity is reported 7 in the uh, Japanese seismic scale. That is the maximum from 0 to 7. And that, that uh, the highest was reported in Miyagi. You're looking at footage right now of uh, what happened here in Tokyo. That's our uh, newsroom in Chiyoda Ward, right near uh, the uh, Japanese Daya building. Just before coming on air, we felt the same kind of tremor. Uh, most of our staff mm -hmm. has sought safety under desks. Uh, some were uh, holding TV panels or, or the computer panels just to keep things uh, steady. But as you can see, it has knocked over desks, cabinets. The earthquake was quite strongly felt here in Tokyo. For those of you that are just tuning in to NHK World, major earthquake with a magnitude of 7.9 has hit Japan. The Meteorological Agency has issued a tsunami warning for Japan's Pacific Coast. The warning says tsunami may be as high as 6 meters in some areas, especially in northern Japan. People living or people near the coast should evacuate immediately to higher ground. You've just tuned in to NHK World. We're covering uh, the situation here in Japan. According to the uh, Nuclear Power Security Agency, five nuclear power plants in northeastern Japan have been shut down. Now, according to the Transport Ministry, Haneda International Airport has closed all runways. Haneda International Airport in Tokyo has closed all runways. Narita International Airport has also closed both its runways. Once again, we're feeling the earthquake here in the studio. Aftershocks from the 7.9 earthquake in downtown, 7.9 earthquake that, was hit, that has hit Japan. We are hearing, these are live shots of the studio right now. You can see that the quake, the aftershocks are quite big. We're feeling quite a strong earthquake here in Japan. It's about 30 minutes after. This is about 30 minutes after the 7.9 quake hit northern Japan. We're feeling the aftershocks. It's quite strong here in downtown Tokyo. This is inside our NHK studios in downtown Tokyo, feeling rather strong aftershocks. This week, Earlier this week, off the northeastern coast of Japan, another hit quit, hit the region. That time, it was a magnitude of 7.3, but today it is a much stronger earthquake. We're talking about a 7.9 earthquake. We're feeling the aftershock. These live shots of our studios as we sit at this time. Watch out, watch out. You want, want to stay away. And I'm just uh, telling my uh, producer right next, that's sitting right next to me, to stay away from the lights of the above because it is shaking as we speak. You're seeing live coverage of people now out in the streets. We're seeing more people out on the streets evacuating from their buildings. This is uh, Kamaishi City in Iwate Prefecture, northern Japan. We are looking at Kamaishi Port. And it looks like some cars are, have been plunged into the water, maybe caused by a tsunami that has hit Japan. It looks like we have a, a, a visual of one car inside the port. And it looks like several boats have plunged inside the water. Although it looks like there's several cars now, if you can take a look at this footage. This is happening in Kamaishi City in Iwate Prefecture in northern Japan. I'm reporting this from the studio of NHK World in Tokyo. We are feeling the aftershocks as I speak during this hour. Lights are shaking inside the studio, but here is a visual of Kamaishi City in Iwate Prefecture, northern Japan. As you can see, the uh, tsunami has already engulfed several boats, and it looks like some cars along the coast there. This is live footage of Kamaishi City in Iwate Prefecture.
A major earthquake with a magnitude 7.9 hitting here in Japan. Meteorological Agency issuing a tsunami warning for Japan's Pacific coast. The warnings say tsunami may be as high as six meters in some areas. And as you can see in Kamaishi City in Iwate Prefecture, some of the tsunami has already engulfed cars and it looks like some boats. Mm. Some buildings, as, as, as we can so far see from these live footage, Kamai City in Iwate Prefecture, located in uh, northern Japan. And it looks like we're getting more some. This is the port of Kamaishi City in Iwate Prefecture. Obviously, some cars that were parked near the port have now plunged into the water due to a tsunami. You can see the tsunami. Water's flooding onto the streets. Live footage, Kamaisha City in the Iwate Prefecture. We're getting some sound from there right now. We're feeling aftershocks, quakes still continue here in our broadcasting center right here in Tokyo. And in Tokyo, several fires have broken out. The fire department says fires have been reported in several places, including Ariake in central Tokyo. The powerful quake has stopped the Shinkansen bullet trains across the country and trains around the Tokyo area. East Japan Railway Company says that all of the Shinkansen's Tohoku, Joetsu, and Nagano lines have been stopped. On the major Tokaido line, all trains between Tokyo and Shin Osaka and uh, West Japan stations have been made inoperable. The Tokyo Metro system, the Tokyo subways also say all of its lines have been stopped and officials are checking for safety. And this is a look once again at Kamaishi City in Iwate Prefecture. And it looks like a tsunami has been engulfing, engulfing the port. You're seeing live footage of a tsunami engulfing the port area of Kamaishi City in Iwate Prefecture. We've been reporting earlier on that the, the meteorological agency has issued a warning for tsunami up to six meters deep, uh, six meters high, and this is what's happening right as we speak. A large tsunami engulfing the port of Kamaishi in Iwate Prefecture. A major earthquake hit Japan earlier on Friday. Japan's meteorological agency says the quake was magnitude 7.9. The agency has issued a tsunami warning for Japan's Pacific coast. And the tsunami we are seeing right here is in northern Iwate Prefecture. The warning says the tsunami may be as high as 6 meters in some areas. Ports like this in Miyagi, uh, in Iwate Prefecture, tsunami can, uh, can be as high engulfing some of the coastal areas. People near the coast need to evacuate immediately to higher ground. But it looks like that has been completely engulfed by a large tsunami. This is after a major earthquake hitting Japan earlier today, about 40 minutes ago. Japan's meteorological agency says the quake was magnitude 7.9. Tsunami coming after the agency issued a warning for them. The tsunami expected to be as high as six meters currently engulfing Kamaishi City Port in Iwate Prefecture in northern Japan. News is developing as we speak. The situation remains fluid. We're reporting of some fire outbreaks in downtown Tokyo. Tokyo. And here's what the situation looks like in Odaiba, Tokyo. Several fires have been broke, broken out. The fire department says fires have been reported in several places, including Ariake in central Tokyo. The helicopter, uh, reporter in the helicopter says that he is also visually seeing some smoke and fire coming out in the prefecture north of Tokyo in Chiba. Live footage of what's happening here in downtown Tokyo near Ariake, some fires breaking out after the 7.9 quake hitting. Japan. And this is what Mito looked like in Tokyo earlier on. This is about 100 kilometers north of Tokyo. And this is what Mito looked like earlier on. 100 kilometers, you see uh, monitors falling off the walls. 
cabinets falling. And staff obviously are already under their desks to protect their, themselves. This is what happened earlier on in our newsroom in Mito. Strong earthquake hitting Japan. A major earthquake hit Japan earlier on Friday. We are looking at live video of Iwate Prefecture north of Japan in Kamaishi City where, uh, where a tsunami has hit. Japan's meteorological agency, the quake was magnitude 7.9. You can obviously hear the emergency sirens going off. In Kamaishi, Iwate Prefecture, NHK live camera has capture, is capturing images of the port being flooded by seawater with cars and trucks being carried away.